Have you ever wanted to have a meal replacement shake like Keto Chow, but you don't like whey protein? Well, today on Two Crazy Ketos, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own high fat meal replacement with any kind of protein powder. And I'll show you right after this. Hey, what's up family? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. So it's no secret, Rachel and I love Keto Chow. We live very busy lives and sometimes it's just nice to have that meal replacement shake in the refrigerator ready to go so that we can either grab it on the way out the door or we have something when we get home because we're getting home super late. Having that makes it a little bit easier that we don't either A, stop at a fast food restaurant or B, maybe eat something that's in the house that we normally wouldn't consume. The thing that some people don't like about Keto Chow is the fact that it's made with whey protein. And some other people don't like the fact that it's sweetened with sucralose. But there is a way that they can still have a high fat meal replacement shake in their fridge ready to go. And that's with the Keto Chow base powder. See, what makes Keto Chow so unique, what makes it so good is not the protein powder or even the flavors. What makes it so awesome is the fact that each shake that you drink is one third of all of the vitamins, electrolytes, and nutrients that you need in the day. But again, some people don't like the fact that it's made with whey protein. So what the base powder is, it's all of the vitamins, electrolytes, and nutrients that you need in a powdered form, and then you could mix that with any protein powder you want. And they actually came up with this, not so much for you being able to make it yourself, it's so that people who lived in other countries could order this way instead of ordering this way. Because this bag is equal to this bag and all you need to do then is get your protein powder. So it's much cheaper for somebody in another country to order this and then go buy their own protein powder. And when you have that, now you can use whatever you want. You can use a pea protein, you can use rice protein, you can use egg protein, any kind of protein powder you wanna use. I just suggest you find something that's two carbs or less. I prefer something as low as possible. Here's some of the options that I know of and that I've even tried. We have this one here, this paleo protein powder. We picked this one up at Lucky's. The ingredients in this one are grass-fed lean beef protein, egg protein, natural flavors, monk fruit extract, and sunflower lecithin. And this is 120 calories, one gram of fat, 26 total carbohydrates, one gram of total carbohydrates, and one gram of dietary fiber. So it is zero net carbs for this packet. So that would be a good option. Uh, we've got this keto protein vanilla. This is uh, made with organic chicken bone broth oil, organic chicken bone broth protein concentrate, organic chicken protein concentrate, MCTs, um, hydrologized bovine collagen peptides, organic coffee cherry extract, organic apple cider vinegar, fermented organic ginger, fermented organic black pepper, fermented organic long pepper, and fermented organic mucilum. And this package is 170 calories, 11 grams of fat, it has uh, 15 grams of protein, two total carbohydrates. So this one, you could use this one. I would probably not use this one because it's got a bunch of fat in there. I'm gonna have to adjust things that way, but it is an option. We happened to pick it up when Lucky's was going out of business. Another one you can use, very similar to what Keto Chow is made out of. This is IsoPure. IsoPure is a zero carb protein powder, but this is made with whey protein and sucralose. I just happened to have it in my house and this is what we used to use before we actually found Keto Chow. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can use the base protein and then you can just go out and get whatever protein powder you want. I'm sorry, not base protein, the base powder. So let me show you what you're gonna need. So obviously you need a protein powder. I think we're gonna try this paleo protein powder. I've never actually tried this one. So you need this and you need the base powder. From there, you're going to need your fat, and just like any of the other things you're gonna do with Keto Chow, you can use heavy whipping cream. You can use my favorite, which is butter. We're gonna use butter. I actually have already melted it. I have four tablespoons of butter here, and I have some hot water. From there, what you're gonna need is a sweetener. 
And there's a few different options. Again, some people don't like sucralose. If you do, don't mind sucralose, then you can actually get liquid sucralose. Just don't use Splenda. Splenda, the powdered packets of Splenda, has dextrose and maltodextrin in it. That's gonna spike your blood sugar. You need to get liquid sucralose. I will leave a link for that down in the description. Uh, but some of the other options that some people are gonna like, you can use stevia, you could use liquid monk fruit drops, and you can also use this. This is the Lakanto monk fruit extract, but this is in a powdered form. And this is super potent. It's very similar to sucralose in the pure form where you're using like a toothpick to measure it. And that's about how much is that's in a shake of keto chow. It's like the tip of a toothpick. But a serving of this is actually a 64th of a teaspoon. So if you wanted like a third of a cup, it would be an eighth of a teaspoon. So you're gonna use such a small amount, it's almost gonna be hard to measure this for one shake, but it is an option. So let me show you what you're gonna do. We're gonna grab over our blender, but again, you don't even need to use a blender. You could be doing this in a shaker bottle, but again, we're going to do it with butter. So I prefer to use a blender. I'm gonna put my four tablespoons of butter in here. And then I have 16 ounces of water. Some people use 14 ounces. I actually normally use about 18 ounces, but I am gonna get the rest of that butter out of that cup, even though I'm making a mess. Okay, so I've got that going. Now to that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my base. Now, there is a little scoop measure in here, but you could also weigh it out if you wanted to be super precise. And a serving is actually 14.33 grams. And you can see what it looks like. It's a little tiny scoop. I'm trying to fill it up. And this is gonna be all of your vitamins and everything you need. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm gonna add my protein powder. Now we're just going to blend it up. Okay, now this one that we have is vanilla. Now if you want to have a flavoring, this is the option you have. You can get like these OOO drops and uh, I get them on Amazon. You can get them directly from the company. They have lots of different flavors. I have Girl Scout Thin Mints, Captain and Berries. It's kind of like a Captain Crunch Berry, Girly Scout Caramel Cocoa. Um, let's see. Cinnamon Danish Swirl. We're gonna put a few drops of that in there. I usually put about 10 drops. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll just do like a dropper full. And then I'm gonna turn this back on. Just kind of mix that up a little bit. So now what I'll do is I'll actually taste this. Now I've never tried this protein powder before, so I don't know how sweet it is. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny sip and see if I need to add any sweetener. Yeah, that doesn't have much sweetness. There's a little bit, but not much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my monk fruit extract and just put like 10 to 15 drops in there. So this is gonna kind of be where you're gonna have to experiment. You're gonna, once you find the right protein powder that you want, and you can just kind of add a little bit of sweetener at a time until you know it's the sweetness you like. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna take our blender bottle. And you can see it's pretty much just like keto chow. put our top on. Now normally I would let this sit in the refrigerator for a day, but we are gonna try it right now. That's pretty good, I like that Danish. Obviously it's warm, 
could probably use a couple more drops of sweetener, but you're gonna have to just keep playing with it until you get to the level you want. Once you find the protein powder that you wanna use, you're gonna be good to go. I mean, you can even go to the store, they have like the Quest protein powders. Some of those are pretty low carb. After I finished the video, I realized I completely forgot to tell you how much this stuff costs or where you can even get it. So obviously you can get it directly on the Keto Chow website. I'm gonna leave a link for that down below in the description. There's also the coupon code 2 Keto, which if you haven't used that before, will get you 10% off on your purchase. Uh, the price on this is gonna be $42 and this bag is gonna give you 21 servings. So it's about $2 a serving. And it's not gonna save you a whole lot of money on actually purchasing this. It'll save you some money on shipping. Uh, but in the end, I mean, using this is about $3.40 a serving if you're not getting a flavor that's on sale. This is gonna cost you $2, but you're still gonna have to go and buy your protein powder. The advantage over using this is if you live in another country and you don't wanna have to pay for the hefty weight of protein powder, or again, if you don't wanna use whey protein or would prefer to not be having sucralose. So that's how you could make your keto chow shakes without having those ingredients. Let us know down in the comment section which kind of protein powder you would use. Personally, I'd probably use the Quest protein powder. They've got some really good flavors, and again, some of them are pretty low in carbohydrates. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon so that you are notified every single time we upload a new video. And until next time, bye.